Who the hell will protect the innocent New Yorkers in this city? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. It is time for us to stop spending our energy protecting people who are committing crimes and violence. Emotional and outraged, Mayor Eric Adams condemning the latest act of violence in the Bronx overnight. The NYPD says a career criminal shot a police officer during a tense gun battle. They used to think he was my son because I'm older than him. They, you know what I'm saying? Like he used to move and hop over, but you know, just it's sad that like, you know it's, it comes to this. You know what I mean? Like. When is it going to end? The 25-year-old suspect was out on the street awaiting sentencing for a separate gun conviction. The police commissioner characterizing Rameek Smith like this. A dangerous criminal who should not have been on the streets of the Bronx or anywhere else. Sources say most of Smith's arrest history is sealed. But we know back in 2016, he pleaded guilty to a Staten Island robbery and was given five years probation. While out on supervision, he was found with a gun while jumping a subway turnstile in Cody Island, according to police. However, his sentencing has been delayed twice. So you're asking yourself, he pled guilty in December 2021. Why wasn't he in jail? People want to ask, why am I cracking down on fair evasions? That's why. On the heels of last night's shooting, the mayor and police commissioner today are announcing further crackdowns on gun violence in the city. To date, cops have removed over 2,600 illegal guns from the streets, according to the mayor. The one used to allegedly shoot an officer last night, a Glock 9mm, came up through the iron pipeline. It was stolen out of Richmond, Virginia, June 14th of last year. Law enforcement once again calling on Albany lawmakers to help. We are in a crisis. We need help now. In the Bronx, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.